Hello everyone, welcome to Acebot's assembly video. Today, we are going to assemble the QD007. Let's get started. Please combine videos and assembly documentation to build the product accurately. Remove the six screws with a screwdriver. Then disconnect the motor line and the tracing module line. Thread the wire out of the hole and separate the upper and lower plates. Disconnect the line of the ultrasonic module and remove the ultrasonic module. Remove the two LED modules and disconnect the cables. Remove the buzzer module and infrared receiver module and disconnect the cables. Remove the servo motor and disconnect the cable. Note, the motor shaft of the servo motor faces forward. Note, screws should be tightened to the position of the outer edge hole of the steering wheel. Note, the side referred to here needs to be facing down. Note, the side referred to here needs to be facing inward. The line of the servo motor is connected to GPI-025. Pay attention to the brown line connected to GND. 
Then turn on the switch, the servo motor angle will return to zero. Turn off the switch. First, install four pins. Note, the assembly direction of this structure should be as consistent as possible with the video. Note, do not tighten too tightly. Note, shoulder bracket 1 should be attached to the outside of the disc bracket. Note, do not tighten it too tightly. Note, the two rectangular holes above elbow bracket, one on the left side are facing upwards. Note, do not tighten it too tightly. Note, the motor shaft of the servo motor faces outward. The line of the lower servo motor is connected to GPI-026. The upper servo motor is connected to GPI-027. Pay attention to the brown line connected to GND. And then turn on the switch. The servo motor angle will return to zero. Note: The position of the shoulder bracket should be assembled perpendicular to the ground. Turn off the switch. Note, the position of the rectangular hole is facing upwards.
Note, elbow brackets and shouter brackets are assembled at 90. Note, the motor shaft of the servo motor faces up. Note, the servo shaft and round hole are above. Note, this screw does not need to be fixed for the moment. The line of the servo motor is connected to GPI-04. Pay attention to the brown line connected to GND. And then turn on the switch. The servo motor angle will return to zero. Disconnect the line and turn off the switch. Note, do not tighten it too tightly. Note, the initial installation status of the claw is off. Note, this is a special installation. 
and it is not necessary to insert the protruding part into the hole, as shown in the video. Note, the convex part of the steering wheel faces outward. The line of the servo motor is connected to GPI-033. Pay attention to the brown line connected to GND. And then, turn on the switch. The servo motor angle will return to zero. Turn off the switch. Finally, insert 4-pin DuPont wire. Thread the cable of the upper module of the lower plate through the round hole of the upper plate. Clamp the ultrasonic part of the structure to the middle of the upper and lower plates. Note. Ensure that all cables are correctly connected before powering on the device to avoid burning the modules and controller board. As shown in the video, the upper left motor connect to M1, the lower left motor connect to M2, the upper right motor connect to M3, and the lower right motor connect to M4. The line of ultrasonic sensor is connect to ultrasonic. Attention to GND connect to GND. VCC connect to 5V. Trig connect to 13. Echo connect to 14. The line of trace sensor is connect to line track. Attention to the red line needs to be connected to 5V. Note. The servo motor line needs to be connected to the extension line first and then connect to pin 33. Attention to the brown line needs to be connected to GND. The servo motor for the paw part operates in the same way, and then is connected to pin 4. Attention to the brown line needs to be connected to GND.